Hello driver, so today we have a 2010 Mazda 6 here with me. I'm going to show you how to replace your belt tensioner. As you can see, it's right here. Uh, my belt actually recently burst. This is a new one. But when I find out this was spinning, I'm going to take it off and show you what really happened. Okay. So usually on a tensioner, what you want to do basically is like this is this is 15 usually to take off the belt you gotta put it over and go this way and the tension go up then you can take off your belt okay but because of my problem with the bearings everything messed up it's already the belt already burst and i'm trying to put a new one so that's going to take off the tensioner tensioner is 10 millimeter Sometimes usually good to spray these just in case. Can okay, use the tall one for that, so I have to Okay, so it's good to have one of these ten millimeter, and this is a one eight. Make sure you have the right size, one eight, and also this. Okay, giant sockets. Okay, always have one of these, especially when you're doing these um, pulleys and or tension. Belt tension. Okay, so what happened is that the spring inside bursts. So once it bursts, this is going to lock. Okay, so no matter what you do, so basically, when first of all, you see, this is like this. This is tight, right? This is supposed to be tight. Meanwhile, this is spinning. This is not spinning. So what happens is that my belt, when I was driving and I heard a noise, what happened is that um, and I saw smoke, so I pull over and I realized that the belt was the the, 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 the tension was the problem. The tension wasn't spinning. You know what I mean? So anytime you heard a noise, just look out for the tensioner. Okay, so I gotta change this. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be tight. Once it's tight, it's supposed to be spinning. Right now, this is not spinning. Okay? So I gotta change it out. I gotta show you the new one. This is a new one. This is a new one right here. Okay? This is tight. Remember, I told you the other one was. You see, the difference is that. This is a new one. Screw is tight, always supposed to be tight. But it's spinning, right? This is tight. This is not spinning. It's not spinning. So this is no good. This is spinning. Okay, so this is new one I'm gonna put up and get the, the vehicle back running. Okay. Um, just in case I forget, quick advice, when you're doing tensioner, I recommend you to buy your idle pulley and a new belt. Always buy three. Remember, once you change the tensioner, just change the idle pulley and change the belt. You don't want to do this job a second time, you know what I mean? 
so that, that's what I would do but I'll just show you know, how to replace the tensioner today but if you're gonna do a job like this on any car go ahead and just replace the tensioner add the pulley and a new belt okay okay so what you want to do you want to make sure these is tightened on the same at the same you know at the same time like so for instance you want to tighten this a little bit you want to tighten this real tight not over tight though but you know real tight okay okay and then now we're just gonna go ahead and put the belt on okay driver so once you put your, your, your belt on all right before you move any pulleys on your engine what I would do is get a piece of paper and a pencil right mark out where all the pulleys is your crankshaft your tensioner your alternator and you want to draw the pulleys first on a piece of paper after you draw the pulleys the pulleys you want to draw you want to draw a line which the line gonna represent the belt on the paper all right so you draw the pulleys first or, or it's set up on your engine and then you draw the belt which is going to be the line around the pulleys in out under so now when you're ready to replace back the belt you don't make no mistake okay so that i would that's what i would do before i move any pulleys okay also this is important you want to get tools like these pulleys tools okay this is a shorter one and you got the longer one right here this is a longer one okay these are very important to have you don't cause sometimes you use a wrench but sometimes the wrench can be very very hard to just to remove the pulley so like this now all I gotta do is just I line up my belt already right so all I gotta do right now is just put this over the tensioner and just pull it down like this and it go right over you see it's much easier you know because if it was, if it was the wrench now most of the when i put it down it would slip so you want to get the police tools okay you could you could check arbor freight for that one or you could check online all right so now i'm now i'm good so I'm going to start up the vehicle. Okay, so basically everything looks good. Just make sure when you put on your belt, make sure you line it up the right way. You don't want nothing to be like halfway off the pulleys, okay? So hopefully this video helped. If you like it, you know, share it and, you know, support the channel. Thank you for watching.